own popcorn. We get some energy for Taurus. Oh, wow. What y'all been doing? What y'all up to up in here? Up in here. Oh, God. I feel like I need to pull some of them. What's going on, my dear Taurus? How you doing, my bugs? Let's see what we got going on for the energy for Taurus, Spirit, Gods, Angels, Heaven, Universe. Spirit, I ask you to please bless my dear Taurians at this time. May you please give them abundance, love. Please comfort them. Please keep up with their health and their wealth, Spirit. Any blockages, may they please be removed. Anyone trying to stop them, Spirit. Thank you for the clarity and the messages at this time for my dear Taurians. Amen. So, Taurus, let's see what's going on up in your hood, baby. How y'all doing up in here? Okay. Gee, I was watching Minister Society and somebody like, hey, Tori. So I was like, okay, I know what that means. Okay, I know what that means. <laughs> I had a happy Mother's Day and I hope you all did too. Even the dads that are holding it down without the moms. Even the moms that are holding it down by yourself. Hey, happy Mother's Day, okay? No shade. Okay, no shade at all. Alright, let's see what we got going on here, Spirit. Taurus, what's going on for Taurus, Spirit? What does Taurus need to know at this time? Wanting to get you back, I'll do anything. So, Taurus, yes, yes, it's that person, Taurus, it's that person. So, if y'all gonna start complaining, gone and exit. Okay, it's that person, Taurus. What you want me to do? This is the energy. This is the energy, okay? It's the energy. Let's see. Spirit, what else we got going on here for Taurus? Red flag is underneath. I'll do anything. So somebody could be doing just about anything to get you back, Taurus. But it could be, I mean, this is a general reading for Taurus, okay? It could mean anything. Not good. Negative vibes and energy. Look at this, Taurus. Yeah, it's the same mother... <laughs> okay? It's the same mother... <laughs> Oh, man, Taurus. This person is not going to leave you alone, Taurus. They're not going to leave you alone. I don't feel like this is... There could be some low vibrational Tauruses out there. Do not take it as, you know, take it wrong or anything. If you low vibrational, you just low vibrational. But there's some out there that are actually decent, okay? More than I can... I, I think my three-year-old's decent. Shit. Okay, let me see. <laughs> She's three years old, right? Okay. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe, like, okay? Share the love to my channel family. All right? Letting it go, releasing this baggage. That's what you're doing. Y'all know someone has a lot of negative energy around you, okay? And they're wanting to get you back. But I think you guys are like on point with your intuition right now, Taurus. I don't know why. I feel like you guys are on point. Like someone's wanting to get you back and it's the red flags and it's like you're letting this go. You guys, out of all these cards in this deck, okay, this is what's coming out for Taurus. Spirit, give me one more for my dear Taurians. Give me one, for, for, one more for Taurus, please, Spirit. One more for Taurus. Ay, 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 ay. Emotionally not available, and I won't be no time soon. So, Taurus, okay. Someone's trying to get back into your life, Taurus. I think somebody sees you going along without them. They see you releasing and letting them go. You're releasing baggage. You're letting stuff go. And I think somebody's having an issue with that. Now, the reason why I think they're having the biggest issue with it is because they want to be able to control. They want to come with you. Somebody here wants to come with you on this journey called life, okay? And they're just, they're not meant. I, I just think that this person is they got a lot of healing that they have to do here in order to be a part of it. And it's like, I don't know. They're wanting to get you back. Red flags, like, spirit, wanting to get you back, I'll do anything. What's wanting to get you back, I'll do anything. Proposal. Okay, so Taurus, somebody's willing to come in and propose to you to get you back so some of you need to be probably looking forward to somebody really doing the damn thing i mean they really gonna try to come back into your life spirit not good energy vibes bad energy not good negative okay not good negative vibes and energy spirit what do we have here negative vibes crossroads 
someone Taurus that comes into your life in and out your life okay somebody that doesn't have really good energy is always at a crossroads of whether they should commit to you or not commit to you okay it's like negative energy it brings you down when this person comes around I feel like it kind of swallows up your energy swallows up your energy now let me let me say something else um it takes away from your essence it makes you stressed out letting go letting it go releasing the baggage letting it go releasing the baggage for Taurus spirit letting it go releasing the baggage doing black magic doing black magic Taurus you're letting go of someone in there okay all right Taurus you got somebody here that's kind of like now remember this is for some of you Taurians not every single Taurus is dealing with this this could also be to me as manipulation but somebody here is you're letting them go and you're releasing the baggage someone's trying to do black magic to keep you held down okay they're at a crossroads whether to treat you right or you know to you know also Taurus this could be you at a at a crossroads okay trying to figure out should you let this person go though you know they're not good vibes they're not good energy should you let them go this person might be trying to do something like to bring you a proposal emotionally not available and won't be no time soon spirit what is this emotionally available and won't be no time soon what is this for taurus okay we have anxiety taurus we have anxiety and then we also have ex-lover that came out so you got an ex-lover that's full of anxiety about you moving forward and leaving them behind taurus Okay, they're at a crossroads or you're at a crossroads or this person has had you at many crossroads before. Someone won't do anything to get you back. That's including proposal. But at the same time, while you're letting this person go, they're trying to do black magic to keep you. Okay, and I think this person doesn't think anything of it. They're just like, I'm going to do whatever I can. Or you might sometimes feel confused, Taurus. Like, the fuck am I thinking about this bitch for? <laughs> like, you know, out of nowhere. And there they are giggling like, it's because I got something going, Taurus. Okay, Taurus, so, I mean, man, let me get something for this crossroads. Spirit, what's this crossroads mean here with this negative energy and vibes? Yeah, karma. Somebody's dealing with karma. So, Taurus, what I'm also getting here, okay, and home is at the bottom of the deck again. Somebody sees you as home, Taurus. I think somebody sees you as home because they're used to being able to do whatever they can with you. I'm going to be honest with you. I ain't going to sit here and lie to you. I'm not going to sit here and put icing on a fucking cake that uh, needs to be iced, okay? We're going to put it on thick, right, and truthful. You got a motherfucking ex-lover here, Taurus, that just can't get over you. They're not emotionally available. This person hasn't been emotionally available for some time. Now, they're at a crossroads because they're dealing with karma. So somebody's sitting here trying to figure out, you know, what they should do. They're negative. They know especially you Taurus I feel like a lot of you feel like you're at a crossroads okay or maybe you were at a crossroads and then what was going on was you were trying to let go while you're at a crossroads it was because somebody here was doing black magic somebody was here trying to um somebody here was trying to confuse you but they wanted to come in now Taurus and propose to you somebody spirit let me get something on what's this tea about this proposal want to get you back red flags what's this what's the tea on this proposal spirit I wasn't going to use these inside of the tarot, but I can do one. Shoot. Spirit don't mind. For Taurus. <clears throat> what is this spirit? What can you tell us right now? Idol, loved, respected, admired, idolized, fan. So somebody is your fan, Taurus. Somebody idolizes you. They're willing to do anything to get you back, and they're going to bring a proposal. Now, this doesn't mean you just have to be a marriage proposal, Taurus. This could be like a proposal like, hey, you scratch my back, I scratch your back. Now, even though I was kind of selfish, <laughs> Taurus, you like, uh, the fuck? <laughs> no, okay. Taurus, let's go on ahead and see what the, um, what this energy is. What's going on with this energy? Yeah, you're releasing somebody, and so they're trying to do whatever they can to manipulate or use some type of magic to keep you stuck. You got an ex-lover that's full of anxiety, okay? Because they're not able to emotionally let you go, and they're not they're not able to let you go towards, but yet they're not available, and they won't be. No time soon. They got a lot of changes to do. Somebody here is facing karma, and it could be the karma of them trying to make you feel, you know what? And not also Taurus. While you might feel at a crossroads sometimes, you see these two doors, it's because someone's doing black magic. 
you're trying to go in the direction you're meant to go in or what your destiny is calling you to go in. And you got somebody that's sitting there like, uh, don't think so. And spirits hitting, sitting here warning you someone's dealing with their karma. So they have negative vibes and energy. Somebody can't take dealing with the karma that they, they dealt. They don't like the karma that they're getting back. Somebody idolizes you, Taurus. Okay. Somebody's willing to get you back. If they're willing to do anything. And I feel here, Taurus, that it might come to black magic for some of you. Okay, it might come to black magic, and that's the truth. Ace of Swords. That's the truth. I'm saying I'm stating the truth here. Somebody's doing willing to do whatever. Okay, they 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 idolize you. Okay, they. I feel like somebody's. I feel like somebody wants to respect you now, but at the same time, they're they're negative vibes. You're you're letting this go. Like you're starting to understand that this just ain't for me. Somebody that's always full of anxiety that feels that anxiety energy is somebody that you used to deal with Taurus somebody that I feel you were deeply in love with y'all probably took a lot of pictures together or all right Taurus um for some of you this is creepy um Taurus somebody would take pictures of you when you weren't really understanding why they were taking them somebody here's a creep Somebody here is creepy, Taurus, and they're watching you now. So whoever's doing whatever this this manipulative energy, this this magic, whatever the fuck they're doing, you're letting it go. You're releasing it anyway. They can't stop you from releasing them. They're trying so hard, but they're getting karma. Like while they're getting karma, it's making you sometimes, Taurus, if you feel confused, Nine of Wands. Sometimes, Taurus, if you feel a bit confused or something or don't know, under, understand why you're feeling like negative or like some type of energy just out of nowhere makes you feel like you just, you, you're not capable, you know, you need to go back to something. It's an ex-lover here that's full of anxiety of you really truly letting them go, releasing the baggage, which is them. For a long time, Taurus, you might have been at a crossroads about this. Spirit, what's this crossroads right here for Taurus? That was quick. Three of Pentacles in the reverse. Yes. Trying to wonder if you should let someone go that was non-cooperative. Someone you were trying to build with, Taurus, Three of Pentacles in the Upright. That's someone that was non-cooperative. Someone that would probably keep you in third-party energy. Okay? I mean, we can all say, yeah, that's a duh. You know, that's a given. You leave that person if they give you third-party energy. But, Taurus, I think this person, like, kind of... Taurus, somebody might have been doing black magic on you for quite some time. Because they were afraid of you letting them go and releasing the baggage. Knowing they weren't emotionally stable. And now karma's biting them in the ass for this. Taurus. If somebody wants to propose or they want to make a proposal to you. They want to start all over. Yeah, the moon. You don't know this. You're not aware of this, Taurus. But somebody's trying to bring you. You have somebody blocked. But there's something you don't know. Now, this black magic card being out here with this three of pentacles in the reverse crossroads in the moon here. I feel like somebody's trying to confuse you. Someone's trying to confuse you. Like, Taurus, no. Like, please don't leave. I'm going to have too much anxiety. You you just going away. Now, Taurus, I feel like you've been separated from this person for some time for many of you. And this person's now getting it like, okay, my the shit that I was trying to do is not working. Karma's a bitch. Okay? Somebody's trying to hold you, like, down in a space you don't want to be held down in. Spirit saying with the card, not good, negative vibes, okay, negative energy vibes and energy. You're letting it go. It's someone that didn't want to cooperate. Somebody that's in the third party energies. They always want to keep you at a crossroads. You might have felt confused a lot, Taurus. Somebody's probably been doing black magic on you for quite some time. Well, let me just say, stop saying black magic. Magic, manipulation, heavy manipulation, if you will. Not every single one of you are dealing with someone trying to put black magic on you. But if you felt negative energy and vibes, yeah, four pinnacles. Trying to hold back. Now, we got the three of pinnacles in the reverse, okay? And we got the five of pinnacles, I mean, the four of pinnacles in the upright. Jeez. Taurus, somebody really wants you to suffer here because they chose not to cooperate. 
they chose not they chose to keep you in third parties they chose to keep you in the dark in this moon energy they chose to keep you in the dark about third party energy they were trying to work with other people but they don't like the fact that you're actually letting them go a lot of you okay you might be like oh well, this is the same message okay well shove it because guess what this might be some tourists that are actually really going towards letting someone go i mean like really letting them go Going towards your future, nada, nothing, don't want anything else to do with this person. And as you're letting go, it's making somebody want to propose to you. It's them wanting you back and willing to do anything to do so. They see you being loved and idolized and respected by other people. And so now they want to come in with some type of proposal because they're afraid of someone else getting to you before they do. Ace of Swords. You have clarity on this person. Someone's trying to hold you back, Taurus. They're trying to keep you at a crossroads here. And if you can see this energy, someone wants you to feel sorry for them. They feel they, they they feel they feel like you know after they've done the beating up, now they want to come and they want to give you some type of, oh poor Taurus, I'm so sorry. But spirits saying no, not good, negative energy. This person's still going to be in this three of pentacles and they reverse. I get the energy of a non-cooperative person that just does not like to do. They don't like to put their part in. They don't like to put their effort in. They'll watch. They'll sit literally, Taurus, and watch you. Put all the effort in and they won't do anything. Well, at least I at least I picked up the broom and handed it to you. And you're like, bitch, you see this flow? Uh-uh. Yeah, look at this. King of Swords in the reverse. A nasty ass bitter liar. King of King of Swords in the reverse to me as a reader. Someone that just lies constantly, someone that tries to get themselves out of everything, someone that tries to look like they're all about their shit, they give clarity up front, you know, they're top notch, they tell the truth, blah, blah, blah. They're a liar, okay? They lie, okay? And they, they don't want to, they, they think that they're slick with it. They're bitter too. Looks like this ex lover. You got an ex lover somewhere around, Taurus. I can't get over that. Taurus, maybe somebody sees that you're getting pro mm, wanting to get you back and I'll do anything. Maybe somebody sees you being idolized, loved, and respected by somebody else and you're proposing to someone else and someone's willing to do anything to get you back, which is this black magic because they know you're letting their ass go because they're non-cooperative as fuck. They're non-cooperative and they do not like to be, they do not like to put in effort and they see you about to leave them. Yeah, look at this. Who just fell out? The chariot. Cancerian energy. Like, I'm moving forward. I got clarity, okay? I know you're still trying to be in my energy. I know you have anxiety me be, of me being loved and respected because you didn't want to respect me anyways. But now I found someone that is willing to respect me. Now you want to do anything to get me back. Now that karma's at your door. You don't know which way to go. Should you just go about your business or should you come back to me? Or you're trying to make, someone's trying to make you feel this way. But spirit says not good, negative vibes and energy, Okay? It's like you got somebody blocked. You got clarity and you had to block somebody out, Taurus. I know it might seem like I'm all over the place, but to me, I make, complete, I, I make completely perfect sense. And you're moving forward. You're moving forward. Spirit, give me something. I'm wanting, I'm wanting you back. I'll do anything. Red flag. Yeah, the seven of wands. The seven of wands. Yeah. No. You're like, <laughs> uh, bitch, no. Back up. <laughs> okay. Botch, you better back up. Like, I guess I don't, I get an energy here, Taurus, where you're like, no, you're blocking someone out. And if it's not you blocking someone out, it's your spirit guys blocking someone out so you can get to where you need to go. Because someone's trying to stop you from being idolized. They don't like the fact that you get loved, that you get cared for, that people actually do respect you. This is someone that disrespected you. Mm, thank you, spirit. And you got clarity on that and you're moving away. Completely blocking. You've done enough, you've done enough here. You've had enough secrets behind my back. I don't want to see. I don't want to see nothing else. I don't even care to see what's going on. Knowing damn well that you're going to sit there and try to pet my head like you want to take care of me and heal the wounds that you caused me. But yet, you're in the king of swords in the reverse. Nah, man. You will lie. You will lie. Doing black magic because you're letting them go. You're moving forward. And someone's like, uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. They want you to be in the dark aspects of it, not the light. You're battling Taurus. Maybe this is what this crossroads is. You're battling the light towards the dark. That's what I see in the chariot as a reader personally. And you're trying to battle both sides and trying to make sense of it all. You're trying to make sense of it all. But Taurus, there's always good. 
There's always bad with the good, okay? Now, it doesn't have to be so bad where somebody's trying to bend your will and shit like that. No, and third parties and over and over. I think that you're getting very adored and respected and loved and someone doesn't like it. Taurus, some of you are getting married. Yeah, and you're blocking somebody else out that's willing to come back in and get you back. But there's a red flag here. I feel like somebody's dealing with some karma because they're a liar. Spirit, clarify this King of Swords in the reverse. What is this? King of Swords in the reverse for Taurus. Two of Cups in the reverse. Those Cups in the reverse, Taurus. Someone that lies. Someone that sits there and pretends, hey, I want this relationship with you, Taurus. Hey, I want to make this work. Hey, let's share emotions, Taurus. Come on. And the whole time they're backstabbing you and you just don't see it. The whole time you need to keep your guard completely up. Completely Nine of, so Nine of Wands also can mean keeping your guard up as well. Okay, keeping someone blocked out while you're trying to heal. But there's 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 double guarding here. Because you got clear truth. You know what the truth is. Someone sits in the dark at night, okay? Thinking about you. Somebody watches you at night. Wow. Ugh. Yee. And they think it's funny what they're doing. I think it's funny confusing you. Confusing you whether to move forward to get into your little darker aspect of yourself or your light aspect of yourself. Taurus, you're just not going to be a peachy king sweet angel moving forward. No, none of us are, okay? But you're trying to do better. You're trying to be better because you know you deserve better. And somebody's dealing with karma. Spirit, what's this karma bitch here? What is that? Ah, king of pentacles, Taurus. Yep. Now, Taurus, you might not be throwing the finger, but maybe spirit is at somebody. <laughs> I'm not joking. Maybe you got some ancestors that are, oh, geez, I ain't joking. You being stable, you doing things that you, you know, being stable, you having your stuff together, you getting your money together, you looking right. Somebody thought that they could play in, play with you here. Again, somebody that s sat, sits down and they watch you put in all the work, three of pentacles in the reverse, but they do not cooperate. And you're letting them go. A lot of you Tauruses are letting someone go. Like letting them go. I'm letting you go. There's no more if, ands, or asses about it. No more crossroads for me. Okay, you had me in that energy, crossroad energy. And not good. You had me in negative vibes and crossroad. Okay, Taurus, I'm getting that too. Somebody had you in crossroads thinking if you should move forward or if you should stick around. You kept sticking around while somebody was being uncooperative. Somebody didn't want to cooperate. That's what I feel here. Somebody just didn't want to cooperate. Ain't no telling how long somebody's been bit, putting heavy manipulation on you. Okay? Lying to you. Lying to you. I'm also seeing someone trying to stop you from being in a connection because you're letting them go. You could be proposing to someone. Someone that does idolize you and sees you as beautiful, lovable. Okay? Admired. Someone admires your strength and they do from a genuine space. And ex-lovers have an anxiety about that because you're moving forward. And that moving forward has you in this King of Pentacles energy. And that's their karma. Them watching you ride along. Spirit, what else is after this chariot for Taurus? The lovers, Gemini energy. Could be dealing with the Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Could be dealing with the um, Gemini Libra Aquarius. Okay. But Taurus, I think a lot of you have have um, also seen the moon here with the chariot. I'm getting this energy like secret dry, r running away, getting away. Someone wants to keep you at, they want to keep you, they want to hold on to you. They want to keep on, hold on to you. They want to act like they want to nurture you. But this person gives you just enough to make you think that there could be something good. And when it's good, it's good. But then when it's bad, it's really bad, Taurus. I feel that energy here with someone that you used to be with. Okay, I'm not feeling a family member here. This could be a family member to you guys. But this lovers here, it's like somebody sees you moving on to something else. We not only see, um, I don't only see the lovers as a choice sometimes, but in this, with the cards surrounding it, no. I think somebody sees you going off into something else and you're doing it silently. And you being this king, spirit, clarify this king of pentacles. King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles spirit. Yeah, three of wands in reverse. Karma. 
karma. Wheel of Fortune at the bottom of the deck. Karma. You're getting your good karma towards and somebody's getting a finger thrown at them and being left behind at the bottom of the wheel. And if you can see, look at this. In this deck, if you can see, there's a woman and a male at the top of the uh, of the the wheel, right? And look at these legs right here falling off the wheel. Like somebody's trying to hold on to you. And Spirit's like, no, 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 no. I got you. Turn your back on this stuff, okay? Get in your King of Pentacles mode, Taurus, which is your energy. And this person just has to deal with their karma. They're going to have to just deal with it. There's nothing we can... You, you, this person's trying to keep you at a crossroad. They're trying to keep you... They're trying to keep you stuck. Yeah. Ace of Pentacles in the reverse for them. You get to go to the top, Taurus. You get to go to the top of the wheel, okay? With yourself or whomever. Some of you are in another connection. Some of you are going towards another connection. Going towards greatness, okay? And someone's being left behind. And there is no new beginning. This Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. Somebody's doing really bad with money. Okay? And you're excited, Taurus. Page of Rods in the, um, in the upright. You're excited about this uh, adventure. Because you're getting away from somebody that's sneaky. This Emperor in the reverse. Somebody sneaky. Somebody very controlling. And this Ten of, uh, ten of Wands in the reverse. You're letting go of these burdens. You're letting go of someone that just does not want to heal. But this person just, uh, I don't know. I feel like this person just, they just want you to do a U-turn. They just want you to do a U-turn. You're dealing with somebody here that doesn't know how to heal Taurus and someone that doesn't know how to um, to be honest with you, okay? They don't know how to heal and be honest with you about their not healing. They keep you in the dark about a lot of things, but yet they like to pet your head. A big fucking liar. They just like to lie. Like, you know, I left such and such behind or I'm not doing this and that with those people anymore. And they're doing everything and you're releasing this. And someone's trying to do black magic to try to make you stick around. Even though they're, they're lazy as fuck and they don't want to cooperate. They don't want to put in the work. They're not healed. But instead, you're putting down the burden of probably a narcissistic asshole. Okay? And you're excited about this. Page of Wands, uh, the Page of Rods. Like, um, you know, a lot of people say the pages are, are you know, immature. Yes, yeah, sometimes. But it also could be in the beginning. The beginning of something. Spirit, give me something for this Page of Rods. Wow, okay. Yeah, look, five of swords. Someone's trying to be, someone's, someone's trying to stop you. They're jealous. They're jealous of you being excited about going forward. You doing your damn thing, Taurus. I mean, I know I, I, know, I know that this sounds like the same story, Taurus, but Taurus. You got Tori, Litton, Tori, Tori. You got somebody, yeah, some of y'all might be dealing with somebody named Tori. You got somebody trying to battle you. Do you see this? How the Page of Rods is looking towards the Five of Swords? And this person has a cloak on, like they're trying to act as if you can't see them. You can see them, Taurus. You know who they are. You're going towards another situation. Yeah, Nine of, nine of Cups here. And it, it looks like you're happy about it. You're getting out of your head about a situation and somebody's just like, they're just mad about it. Spirit, what do we have here for Taurus? Give me something for this chariot, Spirit. I'm going to start trying to... Romantic love affair. Sex. Sex fix. Secret lover. Fuck buddy. You're moving away from this. This is clarifying the chariot. I want to clarify some of these cards with what's the T cards. I'm going to clarify some of these tarots with this. You're moving away from this. Somebody just likes to be a fuck buddy. They don't really want to put in any work, but they like you for sex, Taurus. They like you sexually. I mean, is that something, is that all you want, Taurus? I mean, some of you might just want that. If that's what you're wanting, you better turn that chair and put, reverse, reverse. Anxiety spirit. What's this anxiety card here? What's the T on this anxiety card? Facts. No facts. Has never, never has a facts. Make shit up. Lies. I told you somebody here is a fucking liar. Somebody lies a lot, Taurus, and this is clarifying the anxiety card. Someone's in anxiety because now you found them out to be the liar that they are. Ex-lover. What's the T on this ex-lover spirit? This ex-lover card for Taurus. Bow. Played out. Taurus, you got an ex-lover that's played the fuck out. Somebody that's played out. Somebody that keeps trying to come back into your life. Somebody that's sticking in your energy. Which brings about this Black Magic card. While it was clarifying the card, letting go. Releasing this baggage. Someone doesn't want you to let go, Taurus. They want you to be at a crossroads about your future versus them. 
you're at the top of that wheel there, probably with someone else, and they're getting left behind. You see those legs down there? Like they're getting tossed off the wheel. Somebody wants you in this energy. Well, 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 Taurus. Let's see. Spirit, what's the moon here? What's the T on the moon? Oh. Oh, Spirit. Spirit. Okay, that's way too many cards. Oopsie. Okay, Spirit. What is the energy on this moon card here, y'all? Somebody don't want you to know something, okay? What's the energy? What's the tea spirit on this moon card? The moon? The moon for Taurus? The moon for Taurus spirit? What is we going? What's going on here? Happiness? Hater. This Taurus, I told y'all, y'all moving towards something else. Some of you are. And somebody's getting left behind on this damn wheel. Happiness hater, you are proposing to someone or someone's proposing to you. It doesn't matter if you're a male Taurus. It doesn't matter if you're a female Taurus. Y'all know what I'm talking about. I don't do gender, baby. I don't think it's, I, that's just not what just smiled. That. I don't do gender. Okay, I don't do gender. Okay, somebody idolizing you or loving you, respecting you, you're going to propose to them or someone's about to propose to you. And someone is a happiness hater. They see you being happy and they don't like it. It's like they try to come on this wheel with you. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. And they just fell off the fucking wheel. Like, and you're just like, da, da, da. I'm done. I'm, I'm doing whatever the fuck I got to do. Happiness hater. They don't want you to know. This is what you might not see. You might not see this person doesn't really want you to be happy. It's clarifying the moon. Okay. This person really doesn't want you to be happy. Spirit, go on ahead and let me see what this uh, five of swords is. What's the tea on this five of swords? You got an ex-lover that's played out, okay? Their anxiety because they have no facts, never have the facts. They make shit up, like I said about this King of Wands, uh, Swords in the reverse, with his two cups in the reverse. I felt that, and that's no facts. Never has a facts. It's on on the um on the anxiety card, and then romantic love affair. Somebody, you're moving away from that. You don't want to have no romantic love affair. You want somebody in your corner towards you. Our stability. Mind you, don't ever forget that. Don't let somebody tell you you're not. Spirit, what's this five of swords here? I know, y'all, I'm all over the place. It seems like it. I just, this reading has got me going. Okay, Taurus? I just got a passion in this reading, okay? Now, I know that people can change, Taurus. I know that. But, uh, Taurus, uh, mm -mm, uh, somebody having a hard time with that. Emperor in the verse, Aries energy. Somebody having a hard time with that, Taurus, okay? And then you being excited, Taurus. Remember this page of rods I said? I felt this energy with this page of rods, like you being excited to make a make, you know, make changes. This is like, man, I'm excited. Like I'm ready. I'm ready to do this. Good news. I'm ready. I'm ready for this. Like, and then somebody's like, wait a minute, you think you're where you think you going? That's what I just get, this energy. And it's like, it's a no. Like spirits say no. Like, no, you're not gonna block this person. They they don't want to have a sexy love affair. This ex-lover's played out. And Taurus not, may not, not just be played out in that sense. Maybe played out because people have been watching this person do the things that they do. They've been watching them go from person to person, maybe. I don't know. Spirit, five of swords here. What's, this, what's the tea on this five of swords? Go on ahead and close out this reading, Spirit. Okay. Curious about you. Someone's actually jealous and curious about, look, this five of swords here. They're curious about you. Why are you moving forward? Why are you so excited to do something without me? Why are you doing this? Spirit, give me something else for this Five of Swords. Somebody's like really wanting to win here. Wanting to win. Clout chaser. Clout hungry. Says anything, does anything, makes shit up dramatic. I told you, somebody here is just like a fucking fat liar. They're curious about you, but they're willing to say anything. Okay, Taurus, with this Five of Swords to get you to stop going towards your being happy. Okay. Taurus, you don't des you don't deserve that. I'm not gonna sit here and say, Taurus, I don't even let that clout hungry motherfucker come back on it. No, Taurus, I'm not for that. It, I know a lot of people like the butterfly readings, but sorry, I'm not one of them. I'm not I'm not a reader that. If I see it, then yeah. But I see two of cups in reverse. I see black mat. No, karma. No. I see that you're being respected and admired and 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 loved by some people, by some people, Taurus. And you know what's you know what's crazy, Taurus. There might be someone that's idolizing and let that. Let me stop saying idolize because it just sounds like stalkerish, okay? Um, 
There might be somebody that really wants to propose to you, that really wants to take care of you and do right by you. And they're in the background, Taurus, but you're so blocked off. Now, this could be, this is, could go for many Tauruses, so be very aware of that. Or someone that you, that loves you and, and, and really does admire and respect you for who you are. They're not going to play games. They're not going to be non-cooperative. They're not going to be non-cooperative. They're not going to be snakish. I guess get snakish vibes here. And that ne not good negative vibes and energy, blah. And what you're not seeing here with this moon here is that somebody doesn't want you to be happy. It's not that they want to make you happy. They just don't want to see you happy. Mm -mm. So let me get something for this Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. What's the tea on this Ace of Pentacles in the reverse? What's going on with that, spirit? Spiritual hater. Hates on your spirituality, light, magic, and power. Happiness hater. The same shit. Somebody here is doing some fucking magic. Somebody's playing with some shit to try to stop you from moving forward, Taurus. Okay? They're trying to stop you from moving forward. And it's not going to work. It's not going to work. It looks like it, 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 you can't. A spiritual hater. Somebody just wants your money down. They want you to be out and about, down and out. Spirit, give me something for this Wheel of Fortune. And that's going to be the last one to clarify. Wheel of Fortune here. Spirit, what's the T on this Wheel of Fortune? Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Bottom of the deck. Moves in silence. Taurus. You're moving in silence and it's like somebody thought they had you beat, but they end up falling off the wheel while you up here doing your damn thing. You ain't trying to throw it in nobody's face either, Taurus. I don't feel that energy. I feel you're just moving in silence, okay? And you're dodging bullets. You're dodging bullets. Blocking negativity, escaping crazy people, protected by haters. Look at that. You're protected. You're protected. I think somebody meant to put, okay, dodging bullets, blocking negativity, escaping crazy people, protected by haters. So your haters are protecting you, and they don't even know it. They're protecting you from themselves. You're moving in silence. You're just not telling anybody anything. And oh, the card that did come out for the Wheel of Fortune, Boss Bitch, runs own business, stable, busy. Okay, look at this. That's you, Taurus. Now, you don't have to be a female. Look, y'all, come on now. Y'all know I don't do gender. I wish they put boss, okay? Let's just, let's just like the B word ain't there, Taurus. Look, you bossing, okay? You bossing, and that's on the Wheel of Fortune energy, and you're moving in silence. You're dodging bullets, okay? And you're unfazed, and someone can't stand it. So they sit here giggling, thinking that whatever they're doing, you letting them go is going to be stopped. Uh, no. <laughs> uh, no, I think Taurus is in the um, lead here with this, um... I think Taurus is, Taurus, I think that makes sense. The dodging bullets being protected by your haters. I think you're being protected by them. Little do they know. That's probably something they're not even seeing. Them, the more they hate on your happiness, the more they lie, the more they, they come up with these, this wanting to be having romantic affairs and being played out and shit. The more that they're hating on your energy of where you're like, um, I mean, think about it. Your haters are protecting you. They're protecting you from them. Them hating on you, that you seeing shit for what it is, they're protecting you. Spirit, give me two cards for Taurus to close this reading out, Spirit. Taurus. Freedom. Yep, there you go, Taurus. Freedom. <laughs> Taurus gone, gone. Look at that, Taurus. Inner peace. Inner peace. I'm not fucking with you. Okay. <laughs> Look, forgiveness, you forgive them. I forgive you, baby. I forgive you. I know you don't like it what I'm doing, but it's pushing me further. You protected me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Spiritual hater, okay, you can hate me for the magic that I possess within myself, the power within myself. Um, I'm a light worker. For some of you are very healing. And what they want to do with your energy is have, you know, just they want to mate with your energy. But they're played the fuck out. Spirit, give me one more. They're played out, Taurus. Someone wants your forgiveness here, but little do they know they're doing so much hate towards you. They're not seeing you forgiving them. You being able to move forward, you being loved and respected by others has made you understand that, look, I forgive this person. Now I'm going to move forward. That chariot energy. Okay? That chariot energy. 
gateway, excuse me, Taurus, gateway, freedom to get to through the gateway. I'm, I'm getting out of, I'm getting out this dark. I'm going towards the light. I got, I got something I got to go do. Trust. You've been trusting in the divine for very long and look where it's gotten you. Peace. We saw inner peace as well. Beautiful, beautiful energy, Taurus. Beautiful energy, guys. Thank you so much for joining Just Smile Tarot, Taurus. Let me go on ahead and clarify. Did I clarify this uh, chariot, Taurus? Yeah, I did with the romantic love, or, uh, love affair. Okay, you running from it. Okay, Taurus. Moving in silence. Moving in silence. Keep doing you, baby. Keep doing you. Uh, my personal readings are open again, Taurus. Um... To let you guys know, cross watchers, you know, it doesn't matter what sign you are. It doesn't matter. doesn't matter. You know, hit me up. Just smile tarot at gmail.com. I love you guys so very much. I hope you take good care of yourselves and continue to love yourselves. Taurus, you're doing a great, fantastic job. You're cutting out something. Okay. Now you are, the, you are clear and you are the truth. Stay in your truth, Taurus. And whatever's going on here, whoever's respecting you and loving you, don't be ashamed of this attention. Don't be ashamed of it and don't try to run from it. It's absolutely beautiful. It feels like it's spirit giving you what you deserve. You're being recognized for the, the, the true person that you are. Someone's curious about that. But be careful with that clout chasing, okay? That clout hungry person. Be careful with it. I love you, Taurus. So, 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 so much. I guys actually saying all these kind of things, okay? I'll talk to you soon, Taurus. Bye for now, loves.